Hello and welcome to yet another Drupal video. In this video we're going to be building on our other skills where we used Path Auto to really create some defined nice URLs for blog entries so it was more funny to our users. In this video we're going to go over ca categorization. Now you might remember when I did the no video I said that um, Drupal has some weird names for things. That's one of them today. Um, the thing that you use, the module that you use to categorize in Drupal is called taxonomy. Now, although it's a lot more than that, most people use it as categories. So, I don't understand why it's not classed as categories, but it's not. It's, it's one of those weird Drupal things where Drupal usability is supposed to be getting easy to use but they evident, evidently thought they they should rename it back to taxonomy which instantly made it harder but anyway who am I to complain so we're going to talk about categorizing posts today and putting what category it's in in the URL and really making it easier for people to search so there was the pattern that we set up in the tutorial using path auto blog date month year title war now let's just um if we go to content management and taxonomy and add a vocabulary this is a odd um, thing vocabulary and I'm just going to um, set the vocabulary name to uh, ca category and I'm going to make it required I'm going to allow people to select multiple categories and I'm only going to sh show it for blog entries. I now need to add terms, so add some options for people to uh, select. So one term could be technology. Another term could be Drupal Another term could be School And another term could be Personal life Again, I'm just giving you an example of what you can use in here. And remember we told it to affect our blog entry. So now if we go to create content, blog entry, you'll notice there's an extra thing here which says category. And that's what we defined earlier. Now, um, if we create a blog entry and it's... Um, my day then that's obviously going to be a personal post but it might always also be a school post so I'm going to select them both and click save so I'm just going to make some posts to go in each category and then I'll be back and you'll see what I'm where I'm going with this okay so I'm back and as you can see I've um, got several different posts here and each has got its own terms assigned to it as you can see and um, there so 
on one of them I've got personal life and school and that so the idea is that as you site where we'd have more and more posts more and more categories it doesn't really work well with three posts but you get the point as you get more and more posts so now we're going to use taxonomy so I've showed you how to set up the vocabulary to assign uh, to taxonomy but now let's bring in our knowledge from the last video and let's incorporate that into I um path auto path so let's go automated alias settings and let's go no path settings and let's set it so that it's slash blog slash vocab raw so that's going to give us that vocabulary that we set up and they're all in the categories vocabulary so now let's say what term they're in so let's now say term raw so that it shows all, all, the, all the terms that we selected. And let's save configuration. If we now go into content management, content, select all our content update the path of it to the new settings and if we go back uh, our, our URL is now our website sl slash blog slash category slash personal life which was the category we put it in slash the date slash the names so that's a really good url and an example of one way that you could use taxonomy in the in the next video i'll show you another way that you could use taxonomy to create a list of categories that people could click on um to the view things in that category so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching it and See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.